about New York City is that we can wake up and go for a run on the water. If I can't see me right now. There we go. We can wake up, go for a run on the water together, and then scoop by our favorite shop to get some iced coffee on the way home and start our Saturday morning off right. What happened to her over here? She's braiding her hair. Quiet on the set, please. All right, so like the title said, we are officially moving out of New York City. And for those of you who are new to this channel or don't really know why I'm here in the first place, I'll just quickly go over why we're even here. So we ended up meeting up here in New York City in Manhattan, specifically during my first year of training, my intern year, first year residency. Moved down to North Carolina for residency. Andrana shortly moved there after me once we got engaged and we got married. So since I had the opportunity to do my subspecialty training in interventional radiology for my final year of training, I could do it somewhere else, or I had the option of staying where I currently was doing residency, but we both wanted to go back up to Manhattan because one, Andriana is born and raised in New York City, and two, we met up here, and three, we just love living here. So I had the opportunity to come here, so I did. And I signed the contract to come up here, which we signed a year in advance, signed it, I think July of 2019, and then the whole pandy wandy happened. Then we ended up moving up here into our apartment, sight unseen, and yeah, I've been up here for a year now, which is like, crazy. This whole year has been like a blur between training, between all the pandemic stuff happening. New York City was closed for pretty much like the first eight months we lived here. So the first six months, especially I was getting accustomed to working at a new hospital and we couldn't really do anything. All the restaurants were closed down, no indoor dining. We could order food, but we couldn't really enjoy the New York City environment and the New York City experience, which was the whole reason we moved up here and wanted to do fellowship here in the first place. Now things have been opening up and it's basically, well, it is 100% completely open. You are not mandated to wear a mask anymore and life is amazing in New York City right now. It's thriving again. It's just like it was when I lived up here a long time ago. You get to go out to restaurants, you get to go out for cocktails, you get to hang out with friends, you get to, you know, do whatever you want. It's just like the old times in New York City and we're loving it. So now we're experiencing New York like we wanted to originally and didn't really have the chance to get to do. We're kind of sad that we have to leave. It's, it's sad. This is what we came up here for. We just now get the opportunity to experience New York again and then we have to leave. So I am super grateful and super happy about my new job, which is the reason why we're moving out of the city to begin with. And the good news about my job, well, there are a ton of good things about my job, but the main thing is that it's super close to Manhattan and we are moving to the great state, the garden state, New Jersey. Now, something yelling. Now, if you would have told me 10, 15, five, even a year ago that I would be moving to New Jersey, I would have said, you're out of your mind. Why would anybody go to New Jersey? But I just didn't know anything about New Jersey. New Jersey is beautiful and it's awesome. There's beaches, there's restaurants, there's pizza, there's bars, there's activities, there's parks. You're close to Manhattan. You're close to, I don't know, the beach. You're close to the mountains. You're close to everything. You're close to upstate New York. You can. I never really thought of New Jersey as a place that I would end up, but I'm so excited. Stupid door shuts. So excited about it, and Andrana is also super excited about it, and we're excited just to kind of start our next chapter together in a new place. So we're pumped. New job, she's gonna keep her same job. We're both moving to New Jersey, and uh, yeah, we're leaving New York City, unfortunately. Babe, do you wanna come tell everybody what you're gonna miss the most about New York City? What are you gonna miss the most about? I'm gonna miss a few things. One, I'm gonna miss the convenience of just going like two blocks away and into a park and playing soccer and- um... That's what I'm gonna miss. We have a park right outside of our house, like a huge football field, and it's open to the public maybe an hour and a half per day. And I literally go out there, we do sprints. Or just play. like going to even like the park on the water or going to Central Park. Like we have so many parks that we can just Walk outside and... The convenience factor of it all is like probably what we're gonna miss. Plus you can order food, whatever cuisine you want is at your fingertips any part of the day. I think I mentioned that in another video that I cooked less while we were living here just because there's so many amazing restaurants just like right outside of your door. So it was just so easy like after work, if we got out at like a reasonable hour, we'd just be like, do you wanna meet up and go for dinner? Or even just ordering dinner to your door in a matter of like 30 minutes is just 
really easy. Indian, Italian, Korean, Chinese. Sushi, I mean, yeah, um, Mexican, every, and anything, you name it, we Any had it. cuisine. We've ordered at 2 a.m. before. We've ordered ice oh, cream. Oh, ice cream, yeah. At we midnight were, before, <laughs> if you just want some ice cream. I mean, yeah. I didn't have that in North Carolina. I never had that before, and I probably won't have it in New Jersey either. Another thing I'm gonna miss is bagels. Ooh. And pizza. But they probably have good bagels in New Jersey. That's if, true. If you know a good bagel spot in New Jersey, leave it in the comments below. And pizza. I grew up in New York, so no one beats New York bagels and pizza. Correct. So at 10 o'clock at night, when we were both just starving, I wanted to have a pizza party. <laughs> Nothing I bad. love that. We would always have that. pizza parties. So we'll miss that. I mean, it's just the convenience factor that we'll probably miss the most. I also just miss like the fact that you can like dress up, be casual. And if you want to be super trendy, you can. Like it's up for grabs. Like any, anyone can be who they are here. And that's like what's awesome. It's, that's why I love it. That's, yeah. that's what the first time I ever moved up here back in like 2010, that was the first thing I noticed. Like you can literally just be yourself here and like no one cares. No. Nope. Literally nobody cares, which is awesome. Yeah. It's very unique because nobody cares what you're doing. I feel like that's really what makes this so unique. It's just like you can do whatever makes you yeah. happy and you know, no one's like going to judge you Literally whatever that. you want, yeah. Um, you just have to pay a lot to live here. Yeah. So what <laughs> I'm not gonna miss <laughs> yeah. is one. Check out the the link of our apartment tour. You'll see how much we pay and how little we get for how much we pay, but it is what it is. So what I'm not gonna miss is I guess the high cost of living. Yeah. Dog poop everywhere. Dog poop, dog and urine. urine everywhere. Human urine. Human poop. <laughs> Human poop. <laughs> Trash on the streets. Yeah, like that's the one thing yeah. I think that makes me so angry is when people actually leave the trash right besides the actual garbage can. I hate littering I more than anything. I Just hate throw the garbage away. I know. I can't, like, it is a dirty city. I can't tell you how many times you walk across the street and someone's like eating a hamburger and they just like, yeah. Chuck their uh, oh paper. Oh my gosh. And, like, drives, that stuff drives me insane. I just want to like take that paper and just throw it in the trash can and be like, what are you doing? You know? And that, the only other thing that like you could either pay for convenience here is like, for me, I always like to go to the grocery store and pick out my own groceries. So just, you know, you need to carry 20 million uh, bags on your shoulders or you can, you can get a little cart. Carrying, I didn't get a cart. I should have gotten a cart. Carrying all this. Um, oh my or God. you can just like order your groceries. Everyone orders their groceries. Yeah. I'm just like, so like, I That's always cool. just like, yeah. And I always like to pick my produce for like certain things, like all like the cleaning supplies and like I don't know package stuff I'll I would order but like produce and food I felt like I always went to the grocery store and picked all that up so my shoulders definitely yeah. got I used to get bruises got to work out yes yeah. I, would, I, I would have bruises on my shoulders from carrying the bags they're so I would heavy I carry like a watermelon <laughs> on my shoulder <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna miss that at all. It's nice having a car now. There's so much we're gonna miss about the city and yeah. there's a little bit that we're not gonna miss about I know, it. there's really not much that I'm not gonna miss here. I would but I would stay here, honestly. Just hit me in the face. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I would stay here. Yeah, I would stay here. If we had an opp crazy opportunity arise and I had to be back in the city for some reason, why not, you know? I just realized I was hunching back. So we are actually going now to meet one of our friends for Korean barbecue because it's one of our last weekends in the city and we gotta, love Korean barbecue. We love Korean barbecue and another guilty pleasure of ours. Very much so. So we're we'll going ahead and end the video here. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and make sure you go follow Andrana's channel. Ooh. She's been crushing the content lately, so you better go check it out. Link in the description or up here somewhere. Yeah, whatever. Follow me on TikTok, follow her on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, links all below, and... We'll see you all in our next video together. See ya. Do you think we should uh, film a new apartment tour? A new apartment tour? I don't know. Ooh. When we move in? Comment below if you want to see a new apartment tour when we move in. Yes, comment below. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.